There is a definite pattern amongst many songs, and today I'm going to show you what it is. Learning this will allow you to play hundreds of songs. Sounds pretty good, right? Today I'll be using four basic chords that you can use to play many of the most popular and famous songs of all time. Here's the chords that we'll be playing. G C D and E minor. So what's this magic formula that I'm talking about? Right, let's take those four chords and play them in this order. G, D, E minor, C. By just changing the way that we play these chords, same chords, same order, we can get some pretty well-known tunes. It's an example of the different songs and styles of music that you can play using exactly the same chords in exactly the same order just by changing up the strumming and the timing. So what happens if we take those same chords and change the order around a bit? We can get something which sounds very familiar like this. So that was just changing the order to E minor, C, D, G. Same chords, different order, totally different song. And there's a lot more songs than just that one that I played using that same progression. Right, let's change up the order again, same chords, different order, and see what we get. Some of these songs that I've played today aren't originally recorded in the same key that I just played them in, but we can use those same chord shapes and a little device called a capo to play them along with the original recordings, or even change them to a different key if we want to sing along or we're playing with a singer who sings in a different key. This little device basically moves the nut further up the neck, so I'll put it here just behind the second fret, play that same G chord. We now are playing that a whole step up or two frets higher than we were before. This means that we can play those same chord shapes to play completely different named chords. For instance, this G shape chord that I'm playing here, we've gone up two frets, it's now an A chord. If I play one of those earlier songs that I played in the first part, which was not in the original key, now with the capo on the second fret, I can play the same chord shapes in the same order, but I'm in the same key as the original. Of 
course, we can move the capo anywhere we want on the neck to get different keys. So same chord shapes, different key. So it allows us to play a whole lot of different songs using exactly the same chord shapes and even the same progressions that we've been doing today.